Okay folks, I bought a rapid test digital soil test kit for about $30. Comes in this box. Explains what it has on the back. So what it does have is it comes with a manual. Then it comes with these test capsules that you use in these four little um, test tubes they give you. Four little test tubes they give you. So you can see these. Comes with the stand to put the test tubes in. Of course it comes with the meter and of course the test tubes get inserted in there to check your levels. Here. This will uh, help you determine the NPK levels in your soil. And since this year my raised bed is going to be about 15 by 25, I'm going to take three sections and have a high nitrogen area, a medium nitrogen area, and a low nitrogen area. And every one of those will be plants that I like to eat, that I need, I'm going to grow this year, that will be have companion plants mixed in with them. For instance, like the tomatoes. I'll grow garlic or onions underneath those, or lettuce, or radishes, those kind of companion plants. And that plant basically, uh, potatoes are a very high nitrogen, and so is corn. But I'll be uh, revealing the plans for the garden bed. I've got about a third of it constructed right now. Uh, I'm still hauling compost and putting down the cardboard for the flooring and stacking the bricks. But that'll be my main growing area for stuff that isn't like squash or stuff like that. Squash and other stuff I'll grow in corners. I'll do my three sister gardens system again this year with sunflowers and corn and beans, pole beans and uh, squash except for pumpkins. You don't plant pumpkins in a three sister thing. But anyway, this will help me determine the correct levels of nitrogen in my soil and the trace elements and the phosphorus and the potassium. And it's going to be very important because what I'm going to be gardening it's going to be a lot more complex than I've done in the in the past. In the past, I've just I've just basically looked at the plant and said it needs this, it needs that. But I'm going to be more scientific about it and record the uh, pH levels, the humidity, uh, the soil dampness, um, and the NPK of the soil to make sure that I got the optimum growing environment for my soil, and to get a greater yield on crops this year because there's a like somebody said, there's a food shortage coming, and that was from the president. Whether you agree with him or not as being a president or a resident, that's, that's up to you to decide. But it doesn't change the fact that food is getting much higher in price. And if you can grow and raise your own food right now, I suggest you do it. Get those seeds now. Don't wait until the last moment to get seeds. Because you want to you want to test the germination of those seeds also. Because if you get some seeds and they don't germinate very well, you're going to be like my neighbor was last two years. He bought some seeds, some pole beans. They didn't come up. He had to get some from me. I gave him a bunch of them, seeds, um, charred seeds and everything else. So just think about getting the seeds now and being more acute to paying attention to detail of how you grow your garden, where you grow a garden. And stuff I like to use um, for like pesticide would be like Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew. Okay, you can also use uh, other stuff, but that's all organic and it's been aside in. And then I'm going to try uh, corn gluten um, as an herbicide this year. And it says it, it, it supposedly it's organic and it supposedly kills crabgrasses, which I got a big problem with because I've got this filled grass out here in the, on the you know this area of the country. Anyways, um, get yourself a meter. They're not that expensive. This is only thirty bucks. You can get some something for half the price that doesn't have the meter uh, for twelve fifteen dollars but check your soils if you're going to grow your garden beds make sure that you're not just throwing it in there so oh, it's going to be fine because so i've heard people in the last two years said my, my carrots didn't grow very well well guess what carrots don't like a high nitrogen environment they like a very low one or next to zero i mean you're talking zero ten ten or uh, five ten ten mpk fertilizer for carrots you don't want you don't want to add nitrogen to the soil when you're growing your carrots. Okay, thanks for watching.